Hi, welcome to the Bull League, and this is another video uh, tutorial on our Bull League wiki. I don't know that uh, too many uh, OOTP 17 uh, baseball leagues or any online baseball leagues really uh, are running a wiki. One of the reasons why we set up the wiki was uh, to sort of preserve um, and evolve the league's history. And I've spent a lot of time learning the wiki um, scripting languages and the, the markup language and stuff. And it's uh, uh, it was quite tricky to, to learn and, and actually to implement the, the site. But I think uh, those of you that check it out from the, uh, from the league and even members of the public that uh, have nothing to do with the league, uh, maybe are just in other, other online baseball leagues, they'll uh, be inspired by some of the information that we've been able to compile and organize. Uh, using the wiki. Uh, so I'll just give you a quick introductor, uh, introductory video. Uh, I can do some other videos uh, a little bit later on, on uh, the wiki, but um, our main screen is the uh, Welcome to the Bull League wiki screen, uh, the official encyclopedia for the Bull League Fictional Baseball League. You, user contributions are welcome. Uh, we currently have a total of 196 articles. We're hoping to, uh, to really expand on that soon. Um, each article is, uh, if you're not familiar with Wikipedia or wikis, each article is an entry in the uh, uh, in the encyclopedia about something or someone. Uh, so in this particular wiki, uh, we uh, categorize the information uh, uh, under several general categories. So there's uh, information about the league and the constituent leagues, uh, such as the Bull League, Cal League, Heifer League. So those are the minor league systems. A lot of those leagues uh, have uh, sub-leagues. Um, uh, Major League Baseball has the American League and the National League. We have the American Eagle League and the Lake League, and each of those has a division. So, for example, the uh, Bull League uh, uh, screen, the Bull League article, talks about uh, uh, when it was founded. We've even done uh, little sidebar boxes, uh, very much like uh, Wikipedia. Uh, let me tell you how difficult those were to, uh, to script. Uh, some information about the Bull League. And this screen also has the current league organization, where all the teams are, what city they're in, what year they're founded, and where they are in the uh, league organization. Uh, so we've got our 10 teams in the AEL, uh, 5 in the East, 5 in the West, 10 teams in the Lake League, uh, 5 in the East, 5 in the West. A brief history, some of the uh, original teams. Uh, you can read about um, yeah, our, our labor dispute, uh, which is why we had no 1994 season. Our original three years, which were played out on Earl Weaver Baseball. And then the league was reborn uh, in 95. We had an expansion in 2012. So there's some great information in here. A little bit about our season structure, what happens uh, throughout the season. Of course, it's a long way from being done. There are no references attached yet. Uh, and it is categorized as one of the articles lacking references. But uh, a great introductory level page. And uh, just enough information to get get you uh, rolling and, and give you a little bit of background of our history. Um, if you were to pick uh, one of the division articles, uh, sorry, well, let's start with a sub-league. A sub-league article like the American Eagle League, uh, you can find out lots of great information about the American Eagle League, uh, some current, current info, when it adopted the DH rule, what its former name was, um, when it was founded, here's the league logo. Uh, one Canadian team, nine U.S. teams. Great info. Who the current uh, champions are, be the Calgary Inferno. And uh, the most titles belong to the Nevada Speeders. Um, and again, a brief league history, who the original teams were, and the current teams, uh, etc. Uh, clicking on one of the divisions uh, will give you more information about the division. Uh, the league, uh, the uh, sidebar box, not quite as uh, fancy, but uh, it gives you some of the uh, basic info. As you scroll down, the uh, current members, former members that were in that division previously, um, and uh, a list of division championships by year going all the way back to 91, which is our pre, pre-OOTP years, uh, 91 through 93, played out at Earl Weaver Baseball. And we still actually have the paper records for those, which is, uh, which is phenomenal. Uh, I don't know how I managed to keep them for 20 years. Uh, and, of course, if you're looking to know who has the most division titles in a particular division, that uh, will be on the division page as well. That's the sort of a format I've come up with. Go back to the main page real quick. I'll show you similar information for the Oceanic League. Not as lengthy of a history. Um, information on our Hall of Fame. I'll just uh, uh, click on that real quick. It's not a huge page. Uh, list of inductees. 
Uh, you'll notice a lot of the links are red. Um, the big thing that's missing, one of the big areas that, that we're working on is, is adding the uh, key players. Uh, the players that are added in, we do have links. Uh, let's look at uh, Mike Lappy, who is just, uh, just admitted to the Hall of Fame. He's got a great page, actually. Uh, Mike the Dinosaur Lappy uh, goes to his player page. And again, we've got a player box on the side with uh, some, some graphics, uh, some stat summaries, what his position was, where he was born, all that good stuff. All this stuff is pulled out of the uh, OOTP player profile. And actually, uh, we can source it right to uh, an OOTP uh, player page uh, right on the HTML reports. Um, so we'll go through the page real quick. Uh, obviously, the, the brief summary that's at the top of every article. Uh, talking about some of his uh, career highlights, etc. Uh, his team history was one of the next uh, big sections, uh, and I borrowed a lot of this uh, template right off of Major League Baseball players. Uh, they tend to go over their team histories, uh, who they played for next, and what they what their accomplishments were with those teams. Uh, career highlights. Uh, we don't go into too much detail here, although we do link to the list of Gold Crown winners at Catcher for more info. He did win uh, a lot of Gold Crowns, uh, which is our Silver Slugger. And then I put his career batting stats here. Uh, that's uh, something that you don't find usually on the MLB, excuse me, the MLB pages. Um, Hall of Fame induction. There's a paragraph on uh, how he got inducted to the Hall of Fame this year. And, of course, a little uh, cute image to go with that. And it is linked. Uh, it's a thumbnailed uh, link, so it goes right to his uh, uh, the larger version. Uh, and, of course, uh, lots of references. This is the other thing. If you're looking for the source uh, info for any of this, uh, the batting leaders, stats, history leaderboards, uh, the uh, article on, uh, uh, sorry, his player profile on the, the uh, OOTP uh, uh, HTMLs, or even this uh, here, this links to our uh, article on the, uh, on the main website on his induction into the Hall of Fame. He was inducted with uh, Ricky Giraldo. And so that's an article that we put on our website. Um, and you'll see that the categories for uh, players are, are numerous, especially if they've played for a lot of teams or they have a lot of awards. Uh, we even put a, a year of birth category. Not a lot of players born in 1970 yet, or at least not a lot that we have wiki articles for. Uh, but uh, you get the idea. So that's, uh, that's a little bit of an overview on the Hall of Fame and uh, introduction to the player profiles. Some of the other things we categorize are the seasons. Uh, so we have whole um, article pages just for the seasons. Uh, we are working on a template for the Oceanic League, but here's the, the 2016 Bull League season um, with some information about when the dates were, that the season was played from, until uh, here's the number of games, number of teams, who the MVP and uh, Sandy Koufax Award winners were. Sandy Koufax Awards, of course, are our Cy Young Awards. Uh, the league postseason. So who made it to the postseason? Who the champions were? There's uh, Ohio Oxen. There you go, Dylan. And uh, the final standings. Again, this template comes from Major League Baseball's uh, season pages. So final standings usually up front. So you know who uh, who won. And uh, uh, or sorry, who uh, what what the wins and losses were, etc. Here's the postseason. Uh, we've done the, this was a very tricky thing to program, but uh, we've uh, got this postseason uh, template, which uh, you know has all the seeding for all the teams, uh, who won what, and uh, what the uh, game scores were. Uh, not the game scores, but the uh, season series scores. Uh, and there's Ohio uh, defeating Calgary in uh, five games. Uh, the league leader boards, uh, just the top uh, guy in each category. Uh, haven't decided whether we're going to go into uh, lengthy stats. Um, a lot of these stats can be easily found in the HTMLs and now a stats lab. So really we've just taken a selection of some of the top uh, batting and pitching stats for uh, the AEL and Lake League, just to give you an idea. And again, with all the red uh, links, uh, those are pages that have not been created yet. And this is where our uh, GMs can come in handy um, creating um player pages and other pages and we'll, we'll uh, I'll do that in a separate video but uh, here's our award winners uh, so who won the MVP who won the Sandy Koufax our Woodchuck Trophy would be our uh, relief pitcher award and uh, the rookie of the year award and some of the notable events that happened throughout the year and we've included a section in the minor leagues for 2016 uh, I don't think they're in most of the pages again it's an incomplete article uh, but we do have some references and, and etc uh, so it's, uh, as always, wiki pages are uh, a work in progress, but uh, some great info there. Um, 
Awards and trophies, if you're looking for information about, uh, say, for example, the MVP awards and uh, who uh, who's won the most MVP awards, well, there's the list for each of the leagues. And uh, down here, the multiple winners. So Carl Sims is our top MVP guy. He's won him in both the Lake League and the AEL. He's got six MVPs. Mike Lappy, just admitted to the Hall of Fame uh, this year, has four MVPs. Uh, I think a lot of these guys are retired. Uh, Francisco Arazo is active. Dowsi Ling is active. And Sanjiro Suga is active. But uh, about half these guys are retired and uh, actually in the uh, in the Hall of Fame. Uh, MVP awards by team. So if you uh, just took over the Nevada Speeders, uh, you'll be happy to know that your team has the most MVP award winning seasons. Uh, Shikudami Sankons, that's another team that just, uh, just, got a, just picked up a human GM. Uh, Shikudami Sankons. Uh, seven MVP winners, although none since 2004. Uh, get cracking on uh, Shikudmi there because uh, they've got a great history uh, uh, to the franchise. And uh, they're one, they used to be one of the top teams. Uh, Ohio Oxen had their first and only MVP win in 2008. Uh, so an example in California hasn't won anything uh, in the modern era. Well, the modern era for us started in 1995 when we switched to OOTP. Um but, uh, yeah, they won an MVP in 91. They had a really good uh, player that year. Uh, here's the All-Star Game MVPs. Those records are pretty incomplete. Uh, we didn't have OOTP set to uh, uh, create the uh, almanacs uh, annually. So, of course, a lot of this information has disappeared. You can't, can't look at uh, previous uh, season games uh, before 2016. And uh, even the 2016 stuff, uh, I'm not sure is readily accessible. I think we've got to set it up on a separate directory on the website but anyway you guys get the idea so mvp awards uh if you want a listing of all the awards and trophies there's a category listing uh the teams the team pages are really interesting uh here's the toronto nomads this one's probably the most work done to it uh, because it's uh, my team uh, so again your team summary uh, over on the right hand side the uh the the side box with the logo we've got the uh, home and away um Uniforms now, obviously not complete uniforms. This is what uh, OOTP produces, uh, but uh, there's that. We've got the league affiliation, so what uh, what league and sub league and division that team is in, and those are linked right to those uh, those articles. Um, what the team name is now, what the previous name was, any of that information, the team colors, and I can uh, one of these later are videos. I'll show you how to create these little uh, color boxes and uh, how to edit these uh, team pages. Uh, it's really good stuff. And of course, our uh, our amazing list of uh, team titles, 93 in 2007, two division pennants. That's it for the Nomads. Um, lengthy team history. Uh, we were, of course, the Ducks and uh, had some rebuilding. There's our rivalry page with the Oxen. Um, opening day rosters. Not all the team pages have this. Uh, this are the These are the starters, uh, team starters or uh, start position starters for uh, each year. Uh, with uh, with a reference link, our retired numbers throughout the uh, the seasons. We retired uh, one number in 2016. That's why the color's different. Uh, it was retired at the end of the year when we became the Nomads. The other two were uh, retired when we were the Ducks. Um, list of awards and achievements. I've included all those. Our team records. And again, a lot of this stuff you can find quite easily on uh, OOTP. Um, in the history pages, team history pages, and uh, some of the other uh, sources, uh, but um, but it's nice to have it on the on the Wikipedia when you're looking up for complete information about a team. Uh, everything is here. Here's our Hall of Fame member, and uh, the two division pennant championships we have. Uh, minor league affiliations at the bottom here. Uh, the great thing about the wiki is, of course, you don't need the OUTP game loaded to uh, access it, uh, so you can access it anytime from from any website. Um, so besides the player list, team list, annual events, uh, we've, we've now started on stadiums. We've got a few stadiums in there. We're still adding them in. Here's the list of stadiums that kind of summarizes it. And uh, as you can see, a lot of red links there on the left-hand side. Uh, but I've managed to put this um, this table in, which uh, lists all of the bull leagues, so the top-level uh, stadiums. It is a, a sortable list, so you can find out which one has the least capacity, which one's the most, who's got the... Uh, deepest center field who's got the longest and all that good stuff um, by by each team 
Okay, so that's it for the uh, intro to the Bully Wiki video. I'll be uh, uh, adding some more videos on the Wiki uh, in specific, uh, such as how to uh, create and edit your own team pages, create and edit uh, player pages, um, how to uh, create and edit uh, stadiums. The player pages are, of course, where uh, we need the most work. Uh, that's uh, a lot of red links there. And one of the, actually, before we end this video, one of the great things I'll show you about this is from the special pages, um, which is accessible to anybody. One of the great things you can look up here is the wanted pages. And that'll take you right to the uh, the list of which, um, which red links uh, appear the most and it's usually going to be player pages uh, Nick Rodriguez there's a 16 links to him and there's no article for him yet um, a lot of these players uh, uh, just pop up on different lists like the MVP lists and things like that uh, but there are some other things about uh, well for example here's a stat uh, wins above replacement or war which is not uh, there's no article yet total bases there's no article yet single there's no article yet uh, so all these great things that if you want, you can uh, edit them or at least create a starter page and uh, uh, they can get worked on by, uh, by other GMs or other contributors. All right, thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, thanks for being part of the Bull League family. Uh, we really enjoy running the league and uh, we hope that uh, uh, you guys get uh, as much enjoyment out of uh, participating as we do out of uh, bringing you this uh, amazing full featured very uh very in-depth league uh with uh, features like with a wiki stats lab now on slack uh for uh, slack chatting and uh etc thanks very much and uh take care